Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa. I'm going to be doing today a uh, Sephora favorite slash VIB sale haul. I know, I know what you're saying. You're like, what? That was like, when? March or April? I don't know, April, it was April, okay? Don't at me, okay? I think it was April actually. So April, but here we are in May and we are doing my Sephora favorites slash Sephora haul. Um, to be honest, I almost, I did wait quite a bit of time to do this video and I hesitated because a lot of the things that I picked up are either favorites of mine or they're like repurchases or they're um, skincare items. So I didn't know, but one of my subscribers actually wanted this video. So this is for you and those of you that did still wanna see what I purchased from the sale. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you end this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and check out my other content that I have here on my channel. So without further ado, let's just get into it. First thing I wanted to mention what I have already on my face because I cleanse my face and I am filming like around 2 p.m. today. So I did cleanse my face and then I have a fresh face. So I already went in with one of the things that I repurchased. This is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Glow Glow Drops, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I said that backwards. And yes, I did already lose the cap. I lost the cap already, which sucks. Um, I am that type of girl, so I know. But this is what I have on my skin. If you see the dew that's shining on my face, it's from this guy. I love this because it does have niacinamide, which is good for like um, pigmentation, but it's also good because it does give my skin a little head up type of glow before going in with anything else. So I do put this um, prior, this is like a treatment step. So I do put this prior to putting on a moisturizer. So that's what I did already. So this one I did pick up for the VIB sale and during the VIB during the VIB sale. And this I have never yet tried, but I did pick it up. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream. I actually love the brand Kiehl's, but I don't have anything really in my collection from the brand. It's been a quite a bit of time, quite a bit of years, to be honest, that I've actually picked up anything from Kiehl's, but this is the Ultra Face Cream. So I am going to be putting this on my face and I have been using it ever since I purchased it. As you can see, uh, I do have quite a bit of dent going on already. And if you were to ask me how I like this cream, cause I know you're wondering, this cream is nice because it's more like a daytime cream. Uh, this is more like a nice and rich moisturizing cream, but it's not going to be that type of cream or moisturizer that's going to feel like really heavy. Like you feel like you already have a lot going on on the face. Like you have such a thick mask of moisturizer before you even get to foundation. So I do like that it's very lightweight, lightweight, the lightweight, <laughs> but yet yeah, it is really nice and creamy. It does moisturize and um, gets this job done. I do like it actually a lot. Um, it probably will be when I repurchase because I do like, like I said, how moisturized I feel. Being a dry skin type, I do look for moisturizer that gives me that pretty intense hydration, but sometimes the downfall is that, like I said, it does feel too heavy before even going in with foundation. But this one feels really nice and rich, so I do like that one. All right, moving on to foundation, let's get into it. So I actually repurchased this, this one already, and this is new, so of course, I have not yet gone through my, I have not gone through my old foundation bottle, but I had to pick up a different shade because the other one was a little bit too like, mm, I don't know. It was just not my shade. I feel like this one's a little better. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. The reason why I really actually love this foundation has become such a big favorite of mine is because it is one of those foundations that you can play a lot with. Um, you can go from very light coverage to even pretty medium full coverage and yet it builds nicely. You know when you try to like build up foundation and it kind of just tends to come off and you're like, whoa, 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 what's happening there? Like, what's happening? You want the foundation to layer nicely, not kind of start taking, it can kind of start to look like it's kind of like taking off 
uh, pieces of foundation, like looking really patchy. This one doesn't do that. This melts into the skin and makes your skin look like skin, but pretty filtered, um, but not foundation-y. So I do like this foundation a lot. I can go very um, light with the coverage or very medium, which is really weird for me because before I discovered this foundation, I have been really into um, tinted moisturizers. And that's primarily the reason why I love tinted moisturizers is because they do give me that coverage, but yet um, they're not so foundation looking so cakey on the skin they don't look like there's just so much um makeup on the face so that's really a reason why i've been leaning towards tinted moisturizers um but this one actually changed the game for me because this is just a full-on foundation so another thing i wanted to mention is that i do like applying it with the beauty sponge versus the brush. It does apply beautifully with the foundation brush, but it kind of gives me too much coverage uh, right at once, like right up, right off the bat, like it will just be too much foundation for me. I like the beauty sponge because I feel like I have more control of how much product I'm putting on my face and how much is getting like nice and blended on the skin versus having that heavy look. I feel like it just looks a little bit heavy too quickly. So I did not purchase this during the sale, but I wanted to mention what's been my go-to like favorite Sephora concealer. This is the Rare Beauty concealer. I actually really like this concealer because it's nice and creamy and still feels hydrating, but it's not so um, like slippy. Like it actually gives you coverage. So I'm gonna apply a little bit right here. Actually, I will let you know that I do have a little like concealer hack so you know how sometimes we like to go like really into the inner corner for concealer I've noticed at least for me it's made a difference applying my fun um sorry my concealer a little bit lower a little bit lower and then just spreading it upward like blending it up into that corner I feel like if you really focus on applying that concealer a little lower you actually do end up uh concealing and correcting that under eye area a lot better versus just putting so much product in here and I have noticed a difference even with like it not um creasing on me so much because I do have pretty wrinkly under eyes so I notice if I put it a little lower right here so one I do get a lot better coverage and two I do prevent a lot of creasing from just applying it just a little bit lower so that's the concealer with the foundation. It looks pretty good. So here is one of my favorites from Sephora. This is the Kosas Breezy Cloud Set Powder. I really like this powder because usually I uh, lean towards like a lean towards a like a loose powder, which can get really messy. But besides it being really messy, I do like this one because it's already in a compact form. As you can tell, I've been loving it. Um, it's already in a compact form, but um, it's really nice and finely milled, and it's just really good at not really showing where the powder is on your face. Like if you hit the under eye, you don't really see the powder on your face or your under eyes, which is like one of the biggest things or pet peeves that I hate is actually seeing the powder like sitting underneath the creases of my under eye. So I really like this one. Moving on to bronzer. So this one I haven't even taken out of the box because I was trying to save some things for this video without trying. This is a Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And I picked up the shade Medium. Yeah, Medium Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. So this pow bronzing powder I picked up because I have actually been seeing a lot of individuals actually liking this bronzing powder. They say that it has such a nice radiant glow and that it just looks really nice and natural on the skin to be honest um other than that i don't know what else to expect from that but that so it is a bronzing powder so let's see 
Um, this is probably going to be a little bit more warmer than your traditional contour. So bronzing is going to give you more of like that sun-kissed look versus contour. Contour is really going to give you like that chiseled definition look. Um, but we shall see. Let's try it out. It does have a nice, beautiful sheen to the skin, which you can kind of tell. It doesn't have any shimmer or glitter, but you can tell that it has a nice, like, glow. I guess that's why it's called glowish. It does give you a nice glow to the skin once you apply it. I'm trying to stamp it on. You never want to rub your brush when you're applying your bronzer or your contour because um, you're going to get streakiness, so you always want to just um, dab the product into place where you want it. I'm going to just bronze up the face. A little bit up here in the perimeter of my face, just to give it a little bit of color and make everything match. So yeah, I think I will continue to use this pretty often because I like the bronzer shade. I do like that it's giving me a little bit of definition, but definitely more um, warmth to the skin, especially for summer months. I feel like this is going to be my go-to because during the summer we want to look yummy and bronzed. So definitely going to be using that more. So for blush, I did pick up a new blush. This is the Soul 4 Collection um, blush. Um, What's her name? Kylie Jenner's makeup artist Ariel um, loves these blushes and talks and raves about these. So I was like, you know what? I've never ever tried anything from the Sephora collection. Let me know if you have ever tried anything from the Sephora collection um, line because I just don't ever, you know, gravitate or pick up any of their actual line, like their makeup line. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's more inexpensive. So, I mean, it doesn't mean that it's bad just because it's a cheaper price point. I just, to be honest, just never looked into trying their um, brand out. But I did pick up this one to try out their blushes and this is in the shade Heated. So I did pick up another one. I already lost it. I don't know where it went. I used it for a reel on my Instagram and then I think I just lost it after that. Haven't seen it. But this is what the shade looks like. And I already have nail dents all over it. Wouldn't be my blush without something like that happening. And it has a pretty like shimmery glow to this powder too. Like, see that? It has a nice beautiful sheen. This does remind me a lot of, oop, lost the pan. All right, see? Sorry about that. Um, this does remind me a lot of Orgasm, except it's more like an older rose like more of a rose tone versus orgasm by NARS. It's more like a pinky, true pink, corally shade. This is more like a rose tone. So if you like that sheeny look that NARS orgasm gives you, you may want to look into this shade, but obviously a little bit different in shade tone. Look at that. So pretty. I've also noticed that when I want to kind of like shortcut my makeup look for every day, every day look. I don't usually put highlighter because I still get a nice glow out of like products like these. Um, so I kind of even skip highlighter on days like this that I have like nice sheeny glowy products like this uh, blush or if it's a bronzer that has like a nice sheen but not glittery. I do like to skip out on highlight. I did already apply it. This is the Anastasia Clear, Bla uh, Clear Brow Gel. This is like the mini because I just wanted to try it, but this is it right here. My brows are already all stiff, but this is all I have on my brows is this Anastasia brow gel. I do like it a lot better than the Benefit 24 hour uh, setting brow gel because the Benefit brow gel, the 24 hour one, is a little bit too flex hold. It doesn't really, what I mean by that, it is a, it doesn't really hold my brows in place they do tend to fall and i call it more like a flex hold because it holds it in place but yet there's still some movement 
versus this like once this is on like that's it so i think i will continue to purchase this one until i find maybe something better but for right now i have been loving this um brow gel because it really truly holds my brows in place the only thing is that you do kind of have to let it um set just like any gel, like you have to let it actually like sit there before you can go in with any like brow pencil. If you do want to use a brow pencil, um, just let it like obviously sit for like two minutes and then you're good to go. So the last two products that I actually purchased during the sale, um, I'm going to be applying after I do my eyes. I'm just going to re really quickly do a like spring little easy makeup look on the eyes and then I'll be right back to show you the last two items. Okay, that is it for the eyes. Honestly, I did this I look really, really quickly. It's not that hard. Um, all you need is like a good detailed brush to really get into this crease work right here. And then honestly, just like a nice blending fluffy brush, a dense pack, packer brush so you can go right here and along the edges to really deepen things up. And that's pretty much it. And then I went with another fluffy brush. Which one was it? Um, another fluffy brush just to kind of lighten up the inner uh, inner portion of the eye. And then some inner highlight, inner corner highlight. So that is it. So next thing I want to talk about is the Perfect Strokes Rare Beauty Mascara. This is actually a repurchase item of mine because I did like it so much um, that I had to get a backup during the sale. So this is the mascara I'm going to be using on the eyes today. I really, really like this mascara because I love, I'm getting it all dirty, but um, I like this mascara because I really do like how it gives you a nice volume, but yet it still gives you length. A lot of mascaras that give you volume just do not really lengthen out the lashes. It kind of just keeps it really sharp, sharp, short and stubby, but yet giving you a lot of volume. And this one actually gives you both. So it does really pull the lashes through and give you length. Um, so that's the reason why I really like this mascara. Um, so let me just really quickly put some, pop some on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I did go ahead and apply the last item. It's currently on my lips. I did pick up a new lip liner. So this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Sandy Beige. I actually really been wanting to try these lip liners out. Um, they're really, really nice and creamy. It's the shade I'm using right now on my lips, like I said. I do actually really like and enjoy having a good lip liner as my all over lip shade um, because I do find that it's long lasting and sometimes I just don't feel like going in with two different lip products like I'm that lazy sometimes, you know, don't judge. But um, yeah, this is a really good creamy, easy to apply lip liner. And best part is that if you're in the car or if you leave it in your car or in your bag, in your purse, and you trade off different purses if you have multiples, you don't have to worry about if your lip liner is sharpened because this is a retractable. Um, it took me a second to figure out because, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not on the um, marketing, like it's not marketed as a retractable lip liner. I mean, maybe it is. I just was dumb enough not to see that. Um, but you do get to twist it up and down um, on the end of the lip liner. So, um, But that is it for my video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial and look um, for me. I hope that you guys are all well. And please don't forget to let me know what other videos you would like me to film next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.